I guess, as always, you are going to cut up the paper. So, again, put your ruler past the page number. All right, grab a few sheets, apply pressure on your left hand, and then pull towards your ruler. And then you need to keep these pages in order. So as I do this, I'm actually going to grab the paper and put it in my book. So after my last page to my review, all right, the new cover page, after that is going to go these two sheets. Then I'm going to turn to the next page, next two sheets, turn to the next page, next two sheets, turn to the next page. All right, then I need to cut again. So line it up. Line up my ruler after the page number, apply pressure on this hand, grab a few sheets. Let's grab one more. All right, apply pressure. If you're grabbing more sheets, you really have to apply pressure. So I grab more sheets, I'm gonna apply a lot of pressure. Boom. As you're doing that, you're putting the pages in order, one from the left, one from the right. Next page in order. So again, make sure your page numbers are going in order. One from the left, one from the right. Next page, left and right. Next page, left and right. Next page, left and right. Next page. All right, so again, line it up. Apply pressure past the page number. Apply pressure on this hand. Use this hand to pull the pages towards you. And then put them in, left and right. Next page, left and right. Next page, left and right. Next page. Oh, that's what I need to do. Okay, left and right, and we're done. All right, so now I'm just gonna come in and glue. When I'm gluing, I glue pretty quickly because I'm just gonna glue four dots. So get the real stuff, this is the real deal. You just put four dots, boom, on each page. Oops. Four dots on each page. All right, again, stay away from the margin, right? Stay away from the margin on the left, stay away from the margin on the right, and then putting it in order by page. I'm gonna put the pages that I had in there and glue. Make sure those corners went down and glue. Staying away from the margin. Okay, so again, do not glue it over the margin here on both sides. Do not glue it over the margin. All right, this probably needs a little more. All right, the wet glue takes a second to dry, so we just wanna keep going. So again, take my two pages out, do small, eight small dots away from the margin. Eight small dots. And then when you're gluing, make sure you're taking your pages in order, stay away from that margin on your left and away from your margin on your right. Okay, keep your margins clear because you're gonna come and cut those margins. Next page, take the two sheets out, eight dots, small dots, okay? Don't be going crazy with this glue. This glue is the real stuff. All right, page in order. So first one on the left, away from this margin, second one on the right, away from this margin. Take the next two sheets, Repeat, rinse and repeat. So eight small dots. All right, then put your pages in order, away from the margin. So don't cross that margin and don't cross this margin. Rinse and repeat, eight dots on every single page. Put, the, put them in order, so left first, away from this margin, 
then on the right hand side away from this margin all right so keep going eight small dots smallest one over here left side away from this margin right side page away from this margin if you have excess glue make sure like you wipe it off with your hand um, because it will stick it will stick your pages through all right next one eight small dots all right stick uh, first comes the first page away from this margin and the second page away from the margin on the right Okay, so this one I'm going to have to wipe because I have a little glue left over here. So again, make sure you wipe the glue off with your hands or with a piece of cloth or whatever you're using because it will stick if you leave it on there. Next page. Eight dots. And if you're constantly wiping, it just means you're taking your dots too wide. So make it less wide. All right. First page on the left, away from the margin. Okay away from the margin and this one on the right away from this margin next page eight dots first page on the left away from this margin next page on your right away from this margin. Next page, eight small dots. First page on the left, away from this margin. Next page on the right, away from the margin on the right, right here. This next page, Again, eight small dots. Oh, and I just stuck that across from the margin, so I'm going to use my finger and just take that off. And right, so again, make sure you don't cross the margin. All right, first page on the left, away from the margin. Next page on the right, away from that margin. All right, eight small dots. First page on the left, away from that margin. Second page on the right, away from this margin. Oh, and that's it, okay. So once you've glued everything in, we're gonna go ahead and take care of our tabs. And you see my paper is started sticking together because I had made a couple of you know, I need to wipe them out real well. So in the beginning, make sure you're opening your pages to make sure you don't get pages stuck together like this. And if you do, just, you know, open it softly and wipe it off. Open it softly and wipe it off. All right, so, all right, so now we are gonna work on our tabs. All right, so unit 2B, this is your cover page. Go ahead and put your cover page. You know you're going to cut off your whole cover page. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, yeah, I'll just leave it for now. All right, so that's your cover page. On the very top, you're going to put the title. So it's going to be Transformations. Do not cross um, that margin right here. Do not cross it. On the next one, you're just going to take that page, and you're going to slightly move it this way. And my book is only going to allow me, because I need about 13 tabs, I'm only going to do two. So transformations then on the next one um mark two pages two lines i'm sorry not two pages one two right here that's going to be your next tab and you're going to title it whatever it is which is exploring sine and cosine graphs and then again take your uh, paper fold it a little bit just say every two lines is a tab so this one's going to be the next one two lines put a mark right there so you can come back and color it and this title is going to be amplitude midline and range all right, then go to the next one. Just fold your paper just a little bit so you can see where it starts and where it ends. Mark it. And that is going to be 
phase shift, reflection. Where did the amplitude, mid, and range? So just phase shift, reflection, and period. Those are the new ones. So phase shift, reflection, and period. All right, then take that page. All right, then fold it over. So mark the top and then two lines, mark the bottom. Then that one's going to be writing an equation of a periodic graph. So writing equation of periodic. That's all I could fit in the two lines. So that's going to be, that's going to work. All right, next page. Fold it over. So mark the top, count two lines. All right, then that title is going to be all transformations. So that title is all transformations. All right, then fold your paper again. Count two lines. And that's going to be reciprocals of sine cosecant. Reciprocals of sine cosecant. All right, take that page, fold it over. All right, mark the top, count two lines. That's the bottom. So the next one is going to be reciprocals of cosine secant. So reciprocals of cosine secants. Take that page, move it over. And now at this point, you can start doing three because you'll have enough space. All right, so the next one is going to be the mark the top, then count three lines. And that one's going to be tan, reciprocal of tan. Okay, so tan and reciprocal, cot, cotangent, right, cot. All right, take that page, fold it over. All right. Mark the top, I'm now, I don't need that much space, I'm just gonna count two lines. Okay, that's gonna be the next one, which is restricting the domain. Then take your paper, fold it over. All right, I'm gonna do three for this one. This is gonna be periodic phenomena, okay? Periodic phenomena, because that's what it says on that page. And this is gonna be four pages total. So I forgot to do it when I was doing my tabs, but I'm doing it now. All right, so uh, periodic phenomena. So this is going to be a real world application of what we learned in this unit. And here's an actual example. So it's going to be four pages and then your review. So what I'm going to do is when I grab, so on this one, be careful. When I grab the, the title, I'm going to grab two pages, grab two pages because it's two pages of the same title. Then I'm going to go and look at where it ends. And then that last one is going to be review. All right, so once you've marked them out now, and I'll give you the review, you know, later on. Now, once you've marked them out and they're matching, the tab is matching the title, then you can cut. So don't cut it before it matches, all right, because if you need to fix it, then, then you can fix it. All right, so let's go ahead and start cutting. So again, take your ruler. All right, line up your margin, apply pressure on your left hand, and pull the right side towards you and down. All right, so now you can see the tab appeared. So again, you're going to cut at your uh, where the tab ends, so over a little bit to the margin and all the way down. So applying pressure on the left hand and pulling towards left and down. Okay, so now you've ex you, you can see the next tab. So flip it over, cut it to the margin, and down. Applying pressure on your left hand and pulling it down. All right, you can see it just keeps making the tab up here. So again, cut to the margin on the next page, and down. And every time you do that, the next tab is going to appear. Flip the page over, cut it to the margin, and down. Next tab is appeared. Cut it to the margin and down. Okay, next tab. Oops. Cut it to the margin and down. Next tab. Cut it to the margin and down. Next tab, cut it to the margin and down. Next tab, cut it to the margin and down. Next tab, cut it to the margin and down. All right, next one, remember this one was two pages, so you're going to grab two of them. So when we got to 
uh, periodic phenomena, right? There's that and there's that. So we're going to grab two pages on this one. So grab two pages on this one. All right, cut it to the margin, two pages, and down. And you will see your last tab will appear. All right, the last tab is going to be blank for right now just because we don't have a review. So let me show you what you should look like. All right, so there are all my tabs. All of them are visible, so I know I did this right. And they are in order of your table of contents and your page numbers. All right, and that is unit 2B. So this is really the same as unit 2A. The difference is going to be in 2A, we are really focusing on the unit circle um, and of sine of cosine. Now we're going to just look at the graphs of sine and cosine, and we're really focusing on transformation. So when you do the very first assignment, make sure you really understand transformations. All right, and that's it. That's how you set up your notebook.